going to pick it up and then pull it forward because it's got little jaws right there, little teeth that hooks into there. This is a safety just in case something goes wrong. Now inside here, there is like uh, teeth like this. So what you got to do is open those teeth up to be able to unplug that line. Now you're going to be using one of these fuel disconnect tools, a 3 8 you're going to be using. And what you're going to do is this tool opens up. And there's other versions as well also, uh, plastic ones, which will work just fine. You want to snap it, push it, snap it onto the line. You want to push it in to the connector till it can't go no more. Now, while it's in there, now what that tool, tool did was open those uh, teeth up. And this is what, because once you disconnect, there's going to be a little fuel coming here. And then you want to just, while this is forward, pull back on your line. You can see it disconnecting. And just be careful because in case fuel sprays out of it, it didn't. So, there we go right there. 